Happening now, the city of Fort Pierce and a local developer are going head to head in a special meeting over the future of the King's Landing development. This is a project that looks to turn an old power plant site into retail space, a hotel, and more than 200 homes. Arcade Hussey is live looking for answers about the project's future after many ongoing disputes. Kate, what have you learned in just the past few minutes? Well, Megan, that meeting has now wrapped up, and city commissioners did grant developer Dale Madison a 45-day extension to meet deadlines associated with the King's Landing project. Commissioners had earlier accused Madison of missing multiple deadlines at every stage of the development process. But today, Madison told me there's more to that story. Of dirt sit idle, remnants of what once marked construction, now the only sign of life on the King's Landing development site in downtown Fort Pierce. The trucks were coming every day, and I noticed that it is completely stopped. The project, a 230 home development with plans for a hotel, restaurants, retail, a parking garage, and at one point, even a Brightline station, now halted by a dispute between the city and its developer, Dale Madison. We're responding to the city saying we didn't meet a deadline for submission of some plans. Plans. We didn't meet the deadline for submission of plans because we've been busy remediating site that we thought was clean that wasn't. Let's go back to the beginning. In 2019, the city of Fort Pierce awarded Madison and his company, Audubon Development, the request for proposal for the old HD King power plant site. In August of 22, Madison got the title to the land, and in October of 23, we reported construction was set to begin, with 500 dump trucks arriving to the site. It then abruptly stopped. Now the city says Madison violated his contract by missing the deadline for construction of phase one and the deadline to submit an application for a building permit, among other timelines. Madison is firing back. The request for proposal that the city put out was corrupt. It had misinformation. Madison says the city told him the power plant was completely removed from the site, but says when crews started digging, they found 1,500 tons of concrete from the plant's foundation. So it wasn't remediated. It wasn't ready for development. It's like the city removed the, the headstones and left the graves. He also said because of title issues with the city, he couldn't close on the land until more than two years after he was awarded the project, and says the city told him FDEP certified the site was clean of contaminants. But when he tried to build, he says crews found out that certification was conditional. The site was clean so long as nobody moved any dirt. Um, tough to build anything without moving dirt. So we had to go back through the environmental process. Madison says that took several months and an investment of $1.5 million, which he says the city is supposed to reimburse him for. Even though the site is now ready for development because of Madison's breach of contract, it hangs in the balance, much to the horror of the folks who paid $2,500 to reserve a home. A woman named Deborah, who spoke up in a Fort Pierce sitting meeting, bought one of the model homes for $1.5 million and was receiving $8,000 in interest a month from Madison until March. And he quit paying the interest. When I asked about the money back, he uh, said he couldn't give me the money back. I was counting on this for income. Is there a scenario where Deborah Downs and the others who have invested in some of these units so far don't get their money back? No, Deborah Downs is the only investor that we have. She's the only model home that we had. Everyone that has asked for a refund in the reservation has received one. Now Madison wants the city to extend his deadlines and allow the project to move forward. If the city does say no today, what are your next steps? There'll be litigation. Now, again, because the city did grant that 45-day extension, at this point, Madison is not considering litigation against the city. My colleague Joe Lopez was actually inside that meeting and did speak to Mayor Linda Hudson. He'll share more of the city's side later on tonight. We're live tonight at Fort Pierce. I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.